My response to Presh Dahlwalker has been blowing up on YouTube recently, and as a result of some comments there, particularly one from Rampakesh Bharat, and I am hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, I have been able to come up with a definitive proof that Presh Talwalker's method of resolving 60 divided by 5 parentheses, 7 minus 5 end parentheses, is objectively wrong. As a refresher, Talwalker used PEMDAS rules to do the following. First, we do what's in the parentheses, and we end up with 60 divided by 5 parentheses 2 end parentheses. But now what Tallwalker does is to assume that 5 parentheses 2 end parentheses is the same thing as multiplication. In other words, he treats 60 divided by 5 parentheses 2 end parentheses as equivalent to 60 divided by 5 times 2. Because of this, he concludes that we have to do the division first, and 60 divided by 5 equals 12. Then you multiply 12 times 2, and the answer is 24. So let me prove beyond all doubt why this is wrong. Let's start very simply with two variables, x and y, and let us say that x equals y. Now that we know that x equals y, we know this fact as well. 1 divided by x equals 1 divided by y. To prove that it's a simple substitution, let's just say x equals 2. If x equals 2, then y equals 2. And 1 half is 1 half. Easy peasy. We've established that 1 divided by values that are equal will give us results that are equal. And again, this is dead simple. The simplest kind of math you can think of. So, with that in mind, consider this now. What if we were to say 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 end parentheses equals parentheses 35 minus 25 end parentheses. Now from that you can either conclude that I've distributed the 5 through the parentheses on the right hand side or on the left hand side I've factored 5 out of the parentheses on the right hand side. Now it's a simple thing we, we can easily verify is, is this true? Are both sides of this equality equal? And using Presh Talwalker's method of PEMDAS, we can see that they are indeed equal. First, we solve for what's in the parentheses, and we get this. 5 parentheses 2 and parentheses equals 10. Next, we treat 5 parentheses 2 as 5 times 2, and that gives us 10. So we have 10 equals 10. So yes, we have established that 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 and parentheses does in fact equal parentheses 35 minus 25 and parentheses. So, if we know that 1 over x equals 1 over y when x equals y, what happens when we divide 1 by each of these? So we have 1 divided by 5 parentheses, 7 minus 5 end parentheses, should be equal to 1 divided by parentheses, 35 minus 25 end parentheses. I just put the, the exact same two terms into the equations that we just proved were equal to each other. So now we do what Press tells us to do with PEMDAS, and we start with the parentheses. 1 divided by 5 parentheses 2 and parentheses equals 1 divided by 10. Well, 1 divided by 10 is easy. That's 0 0.1. So we'll put that in. But what about that 1 divided by 5 parentheses 2 and parentheses? We know that that must be the same as 1 divided by 5 times 2 if we follow Presh Talwalker's rules. But that means we have to do 1 divided by 5 first. And 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2. And then we have 0 0.2 times 2 which is 0 0.4. But 0 0.4 does not equal 0 0.1. What does that mean? That means that just following the rules of PEMDAS here breaks factoring completely. This is why we cannot treat 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 and parentheses as if it's just implicit multiplication. We have to treat it as it really is, as distribution. Here we have, beyond all doubt, Proof by contradiction that if we follow the method promoted by those who say we have to do all the rules of PEMDAS and parentheses are strictly multiplication, you break factoring completely. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Peace out.